to Lewis. And they're on him right away. Still the legend of legends around here. And a loss of two. Let's see what they have going here. We might see these guys one more time. This is the 18th play on third down. Winston is sacked. Mayfield. Yeah, Mayfield, who has gotten knocked around here in his first trip to Heinz Field. Connor spun down. This is a third and six for the Steelers. Roethlisberger looks. Glanced up in the air and picked off. And it's intercepted by Kindred. Winston going short to the tight end. Great. Dropped the ball. And it's recovered by the Browns. Looks like Kirksey recovered the fumble. 29 on the play. Ball at the Browns 44. Winston fires and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Kirksey. Christian Kirksey, the middle linebacker. The Browns who lead the NFL in takeaways come up with a big pick. There is a flag on the play. Actually two flags down. Now we set on third and goal. Gordon off of his hands and intercepted. Christian Kirksey on the pick. And then some shoving at the end of the play. Officials quickly stepping between them. Looks like Russell Okung has to be restrained. Collins cannot get to the outside. Kirksey coming up to make the stop. Smallwood is swallowed up in the backfield as Kirksey got through. Verification for you right there on the lost challenge by the Jaguars. Third and six. Bortles in trouble. He loses the football. And Garrett falls on it. The Jaguars give the ball right back to the Browns. It's Miles Garrett recovering the fumble. Stafford nowhere to throw. Just trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Takes a hard hit at the end of the play. Christian Kirksey was there for the Browns. Rookie Garrett, fresh set of downs for Tennessee. First and goal. Just inside the 10. This is Murray. And this is where Mariota Adam has been surgical offensively. Very few red zone turnovers. Coverage down here with a double right there. Mariota to the air completes. First down and more. That's Walker. The football comes loose. Officials say that uh, he was down by contact, so it's a pickup of a dozen. Ends. Already seen both of those matchups factor into this game early on. Uh, the opening possessive little pitch play. Mariota to Henry and Cleveland's defense in front, not fooled. Christian Kirksey. As you see the safeties, just like last week, playing deep for Cleveland. Pressure coming by Kirksey, and he gets Flacco. Christian Kirksey flying into the backfield for his first sack of the year. His seventh season, five of his career starts came last year for the Bucks. On third and short, Winston is going to get sacked. Christian Kirksey. Kirksey came in and got him. Team ready. Big drinks, big rings, we want it. Larry McCarron with a Packers.com exclusive, and that's a visit with Christian Kirksey, one of the newest Green Bay Packers. Christian, welcome. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm just fine. Christian, where are you hunkered down at 
and how are you dealing with the new normal? Oh, uh, well, right now I'm out in uh, San Diego, California, uh, which, you know, I can't beat the weather out here. Um, it's nice and sunny right now, so I can't complain about it. Um, and, you know, the new norm is crazy. Uh, just to see people walking around with masks and gloves and, you know, everybody's trying to stay, you know, six feet away from each other is crazy. But, you know, I'm holding it down. I'm still trying to find ways to work out. Um, now we're going to start, you know, the off-season program with, you know, more film time, meeting time with coaches and things like that. So I'm looking forward to that, uh, meeting some of my teammates. So, um, you know, we're doing everything we can on this end. Not an ideal situation for somebody new to a team. However, you've played in Mike Pettin's defense in Cleveland. Do you have a comfort level regardless of situation? Yeah, my time in Cleveland, I had four or five different defensive coordinators to where, you know, I only been in the league going on seven years. So that's a lot of change in that period of time. So I'm used to adapting and coming in and having to learn a new defense. You know, I'm comfortable with it. You get to a certain part of your career where, you know, everything is constant. You know, it's, it's nothing you really haven't seen that's too different in the defense. And with me being with Mike Pettin my first two years, I'm kind of familiar with that terminology and uh, that playbook. Now, I'm sure it's been, you know, a few wrinkles here and there that you know, change throughout the time. But, you know, once I, you know, look at the playbook and, you know, uh, see, okay, this is the same thing as my first two years, then I think it'll be easy to process. What do you bring into Green Bay in a football sense? Well, first, I'm going to bring a lot of energy, a lot of versatility to the game. I'm real good sideline to sideline and shooting gaps, and I play with a ton of speed. I try to challenge each of my opponents and see if I can beat them to the punch each and every play. And I think that's something that I'm good at and, you know, I bring to this uh, defense. And I've seen film. Uh, this Packers defense, which is, you know, lights out. Over the middle, intercepted Kevin King in the 10. I think they have a good front, you know, two outside guys with Preston and Darius. Heaven south, Darius and Preston Smith met at the quarterback. That's a lot of fuel to the fire, and I'm excited to play with them. When you're with Cleveland, you were the Browns nominee for their Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Since you've joined the Green Bay Packers, you've made a donation of essentials to Paul's Pantry. Why is it important for you not to just be a good citizen, but a great citizen? If I'm tied to my community in sports and, you know, being their guy, then why not be their guy in the community where they can see me, you know, outside of my uniform, just being a normal person. I feel like I was blessed with so much that you know, it's, it's always good to give back. You gotta be one way on the field, you gotta be another way off the field. And that's being a good citizen, that's being, you know, a normal person that's, that's you know, interacting with your family, interacting with your friends, interacting with your community. But then again, you have a job to do. And I look at it like, you know, a superhero. You never know that he's a superhero until he puts on his uniform and then he, he do whatever he has to do. But when he's, you know, away from doing his heroic things, he's a normal person. And I feel like that's how you got to be as football players. And especially when you put in that spotlight, you got to carry yourself in, in the correct manner. But, you know, when you pay it to do a job, then you got you to turn on uh, the tough guy and go make some plays. Something I read that you said, and you said, if you're trying to be the best person you can be, then being the best player you can be will always follow suit. Could you talk about that statement a little bit? Being a good person, that's your overall thing of yourself. That's who you are. Football is just another addition to, to who you are. And I feel like you do everything the right way, you know, that'll carry on into your career. I get that from, you know, just the coaches I've been around, college, Little League, my parents. You always got to take care of you because you're only going to be a football player for so long, but you're going to be a person for the rest of your life. You got to learn how to work. You got to learn how to go through struggles. You're going to learn how to face adversity. You're going to learn how to win. You're going to learn how to lean on your teammates just the same way you do as being a person. So I think that each part plays a hand in hand. And that's just how, you know, I live. Like, take care of me first and do the right things I am as a citizen. Everything that, that makes me Christian Kirksey, then I will be Christian Kirksey more on the field. 
Christian, thank you. Welcome to Green Bay. We look forward to meeting you in person. Appreciate that. Go Pat, go. I'm Wayne Larrabee and welcome to Packers Daily, where we're introducing the Green and Gold's new tackling machine, linebacker Christian Kirksey. Number 58 compiled nearly 500 tackles over his six seasons in Cleveland, notching 30 tackles for loss and securing 11 and a half sacks during that span. His recipe for tracking down the quarterback? A dash of quickness topped off with 235 pounds of muscle. The former Iowa Hawkeye is a ball hawk too. Kirksey forced four fumbles and recovered three for the Browns. He also reeled in a pair of picks, a skill set that could add even more juice to a Green Bay defense ranked top three in interceptions last season. Lost it over the left side into the end zone. Intercepted! Adrian Amos! Adrian Amos! Swings it over the middle. It's deflected. Intercepted! Yes! Deflected by Amos. Intercepted by as he throws it, it is intercepted and picked up with a play by Dean Lowry. Kirksey earned the role of team captain each of the past three years in Cleveland, and the six foot two linebacker continues to demonstrate leadership today, even sharing safety tips to help combat COVID-19. Football is very important to me, but my health is very important as well, so I want to make sure my family is okay, make sure my family is safe, so that's why practicing social distance is important. Um, that's why washing your hands, taking care of your body is important. Uh, we just want to keep the world in good hands and keep the sickness from spreading. Christian Kirksey, an impressive person and player. I'm Wayne Larrabee, and thanks for watching Packers Daily. Iowa's Christian Kirksey wasn't even the leading tackler among his own team's linebackers over his final two seasons for the Hawkeyes, but he was a defensive team captain and he started turning heads with a strong week at the Senior Bowl. Uh, I think I had a good week. I think I was very productive and um, um, you know showed my talent down there and you know, was able to stand out. So the Senior Bowl, you know, just uh, it helped me out a lot. You know, um, it did give me uh, more confidence. Uh, uh, just seeing that I can, you know, uh, stand out, it, uh, it made myself, you know, really think that, you know, I can, I can do this and I can be a, a great draft pick. So, you know, uh, whatever happens in the draft happens, but uh, it just gives me a lot of confidence that, you know, uh, I have a lot of good skills. Unlike many prospects, Kirksey stayed in school through his pre-draft preparations with an eye on graduating this spring, and he doesn't believe he sacrificed anything with his training in order to stay on track to get his degree. I would graduate in May mm -hmm. with a sports business degree, so you know I'm very happy about that. You know um, I can still play the game that I love and also get my degree, so Education. it's important, you know, because um, I, I love the game of football, but you know you always have to um, have education, you know. Um, and in society, you know, education is big, so uh, getting that degree uh, makes me proud, makes my mom proud, and makes my dad proud, so I'm very happy to get it. It didn't make it more complicated. Uh, uh, I built it around my schedule, so um, I kind of have an easy schedule, so it's, it's not that challenging, but, uh, you know, I'm just working with uh, our strength and conditioning coach, Coach Chris Doyle, and, you know, he knows my body well, so uh, I got a good relationship with him, and he just helped me out a lot. And uh, but it's, it's not complicated going to class and training. Kirksey played outside linebacker in a 4-3 defense at Iowa, and he believes he can play either the strong side or the weak side in the NFL, or either of the two inside spots in a 3-4. That strong week at the Senior Bowl may have moved him up to a second-day draft pick, but he's not letting reports of his stock distract him. I really haven't been worrying about where I get. I'm just trying to work hard and just trying to uh, prepare myself to get drafted. So um, I really haven't been paying attention to where I'm ranked or you know uh, who, who's looking at me. I'm just trying to you know impress the coaches and uh, keep up the good work.